Do you ever wonder where all of the delicious fruits like strawberries, oranges, and grapes you eat come from? Well, we got you an answer. Those delicious fruits are picked from hardworking farm workers that were treated badly and had bad experiences in the past. But now the way they are treated has changed because of one person. drive around the Napa Valley, you will see that it is full of beautiful vineyards from all shapes and sizes and are worked by agricultural workers, which is a fancy word for farm workers, but have a different name because they have grapes only and convert them to wine. If it wasn't for the people that fall for the rights of farm workers, Napa wouldn't be known for its vineyards and famous wines. Working in the vineyards or in any type of field work is a hard job, but it isn't as bad as it was a couple years ago. The United Farm Workers Social Movement was what changed the lives of field workers. The United Farm Workers was founded in 1962 and is a group of farm workers in the United States that fought and continue to fight for the working rights of field workers. It came together by two organizations, which are the Agricultural Workers Organizing Committee and the National Farm Workers Association. Those are some big words, but they are very important because those two organizations were brought together by two main leaders, Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Here's what you need to know about Cesar Chavez. He was born in 1927 in Arizona from a Mexican-American family. In 1937, his family lost their farm and their business and later moved to California. They worked in the fields from cities like Brawley to Oxnard, Tascadero, Gonzales, King City, Salinas, McFarland, Delano, Huasco, Selma, Kingsburg, and Mendota. Cesar Chavez found the United Farmers Workers. His friend, Richard Chavez, designed the UFW Eagle, which is a picture that means a symbol is an important thing. That is why we chose an Aztec Eagle. It gives pride. When people see it, they know it means dignity. What this means is that the eagle shows the rest of the people that they are proud of what they are fighting for. Dolores Huerta was also an important person in organizing the United Farm Workers. She joined forces with Cesar Chavez to create the union. Her young life had an impact in what she would become in the future. She was born in 1930 in New Mexico, and by the time she was three, her parents got divorced and she had moved with her mom and siblings to Stockton, California. Fast forward to 1960, where she started the Agricultural Workers Association that we had talked about earlier. In 1966, he organized one of the biggest events, which was called the Delano Grape Strike. What happened there was that a group of farm workers marched a 340-mile strike from Delano all the way to Sacramento, California. There was the biggest strike ever in the United States. Some didn't want to go back to work until they were treated right or saw a change in the law. Many people held posters with the eagle on it, and the posters had words like Huelga, which meant strike, and Viva la Causa, which meant long live our cause. Others held pictures of the Virgen of Guadalupe, Mexico saint, which symbolized hope to them.
Many farm workers lived in old houses that were filled and infested with diseases and mosquitoes. The farm workers were angry that no one ever listened to them. The tactic they used and grab attention was that they told people not to buy grapes from the stores and started boycotts, which is a different word for protests. Example of the media that was used to help spread the word was in 1964 where the NFWA launched a newspaper called El Malcriado, which was helped spread the cause by publicizing the 1965 Delano strike and that helped bring attention to more people. Meanwhile, El Teatro Campesino, the farm workers' theater, did funny skits from the backs of trucks to entertain the strikers and get others' attention to join their side. This theater group made up of farm workers used comedy to teach their audience about their rights. Finally, after years of fighting for their rights, the state of California passed a law the farm workers wanted and would forever make a change in history. Now, many have recognized the leaders of the United Farm Workers, even here in Napa. In 2002, there was a mural painted in downtown Napa named the Latino Heritage Mural that includes the picture of the leader Cesar Chavez. There is also a statue of Cesar Chavez in Dolores Huerta in downtown Napa that was presented back in 2015. Since there is many farm workers here in Napa, it was a good idea to recognize them for their work with this statue. Some inspiring words she said to the audience were, We are 55 million Latinos in the United States, but if we do not organize and get educated, we are invincible. We had the chance to interview a witness of the presentation of the statue. Hi, my name is Maria Ramirez. I'm a student at Vintage High School and I met Dolores Huerta. My experience with Dolores Huerta, um, she was a very nice person. I gave her a hug. Um, she was probably like one of the nicest people ever. You can tell that her voice, she was very nice, she was kind, and you can tell she had a good heart. She talked about her experience with um, Cesar Chavez and how they worked together and what they did for people here in Napa. Not just here in Napa, but all over California, they remember and recognize Cesar Chavez. In San Francisco, there's an elementary school named after Cesar Chavez called the Cesar Chavez Elementary School, which is filled with murals. The Cesar Chavez Avenue is a famous street in Los Angeles that was also created to recognize him. Overall, the United Farm Workers made a big change for many people, and till this day, we are proud to call them our heroes.